Is that good? Hello everyone. Hello. How are you today? Yes. Great. My name is Naomi Dabibi. I have been a restaurant worker for over 10 years. In my entire, in my entire experience, I've never, ever, ever seen anything yes. like this. Wonderful. Such shame that exists at Andiamo. These issues that exist currently at Andiamo Restaurant has, have been existing, always. They have been an issue, they have been addressed for years. And it's time to put a stop to it. Both Amy and I have worked at Andiamo. And today, and today we stand together with over 100 restaurant workers and other supporters in this fight for justice. We're hungry for justice. These issues need to be addressed. And I guess I'll let uh, Amy share her experience and the story and the issue of the animals. Thank you so much, everyone. By a round of applause, how many of you have ever worked in a restaurant? By a round of applause, how many of you have ever known someone who's worked in a restaurant? And by a round of applause, how many of you have ever eaten in a restaurant? This is the issue that affects all of us. I spent five years working as a server in very, various restaurants in the industry and two years working at Andiamo Warren and at Andiamo Sterling Heights. The abuses there were reflective tenfold of the abuses that run rampant and unaddressed in the restaurant industry, not only here, but across the nation. $2.65 an hour is what a server makes for minimum wage. This is not a violation, this is law in Michigan. It's $2.13 at the national level. We are working to get this law changed, but in the meantime, it is our employer's responsibility to make up for this difference when tips don't add up to minimum wage. And it is no surprise that on Piano Dearborn, this was not happening. Unpaid wages, long hours, no breaks, unpaid overtime, discrimination based on race, gender, national origin. These were the demands that we had in our demand letter when we, a handful of current and former Andiamo workers, and dozens of our supporters went marching in the front door of Andiamo Dearborn on November 5th to deliver a demand letter. Right insisting that these issues be addressed, and if they were not addressed in two weeks, we would show them. Well, two weeks passed, nothing happened, they asked for it. <laughs> Every single Friday, Rock Michigan members and dozens of supporters have been protesting outside of Andiamo Dearborn. Yeah. And on January 12th, we escalated our campaign by publicly filing a lawsuit, which included all of the above discrimination that I mentioned and illegal retaliation that took place after we delivered our demand letter. This campaign is at the forefront of changing restaurants in the United States. We have garnered attention from local news. We've garnered attention from the Detroit Free Press, the Detroit News, Fox 2, and In These Times, which is a national news magazine. That said, how many of you here want to eat in restaurants that treat their employees fairly? We are a multiracial coalition of restaurant workers and supporters, and we invite you 